UConn beat St. Mary's by 15. Uh, they beat Iona by 24. Adama Sonogo was completely dominant this weekend, and I will just say that in every game that has not been officiated by a Big East refereeing crew, UConn has won by double digits. I'm not <laughs> saying that there's a conspiracy there, guys. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that the officials are out to get Danny Hurley. I'm just connecting a couple dots. Uh, T.L., we'll go to you first since I know you got the UConn shorts on right now. What would you make of the Huskies in the first weekend? What would you make of them tonight? Um, and and where do you stand on this group moving forward? I don't know that there's a more physically imposing team in college basketball left. And I, we can run down the list of uh, other teams and the rosters and how big the guys are in the front court. Like, physically imposing, uh, can defend anybody and – Guys, I, I talked about Norchad O'Meara being one of the strongest guys in college basketball. He's right there with Sonogo. Like that, that those guys are they, they are so overwhelming and they can dominate you on the glass and they can overwhelm you on the perimeter with their length. You know, they, there wasn't a ton of live ball turnovers from St. Mary's, but they pushed out every catch or they were pushed out in their offense so much just because of the sheer size of what UConn brings to the table. And they just couldn't stop them. They were shooting 54% inside the, inside the lane to 38%. Like, what are we doing? They are so big and so physical. And like we said, teams that are able to play in the mud physically are going to be able to hold up, throw in a couple of other guys, Jordan Hawkins, Tristan Newton, guys that can hit shots. Very much, uh, very much in the realm of possibility that they're all the way to Houston. Not only to Houston, they win the whole stinking thing. I wouldn't complain about that. Tyler, what do you make of UConn? Well, I think coming into the tournament, also, I'm just going to say this, early in the year, they look they look very, very good. And they look like the team that could win it all uh, to start the season as well. And so these past two tournament games have just kind of backed that up. They've kind of found their rhythm again. Uh, Sonogo, to me, is just dominating the paint. Like, there has been no answer for him on either team uh, that he's faced uh, these past this, – this week – and he's been dominant. The way Jordan Hawkins is, is shooting and playing, uh, they are, to me, the team. Now, someone asked me, is there anyone that can beat Bama? I think UConn can beat Bama the way they're playing in a series, in a seven-game series. I, I love UConn, and I hope I didn't just give them the ultimate jinx, but uh, they are my team to win right now. Yeah, me too. You uh, you picked them when we filled out our bracket on the uh, on the show on Wednesday. I picked them. When I filled out my bracket, uh, I feel very good about the moving. Today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play college basketball pick em, where you can get a little extra sweat during March Madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games. In pick em, all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on Underdog's projected totals whether that's points rebounds whatever for example if you're like me and you think zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament pick higher on his points projection add up to four more picks and if you hit them all you can win 20 times your money on a single game underdog slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like jeff goodman have even figured it out so go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code Field F I E L D and Underdog will match your deposit up to a hundred bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, UnderdogFantasy.com promo code Field. 